Before we dive in, I'm going to give you a rapid recap of everything that's new to the game right now. Team Affinity Chapter 2 has started. We have Chapter 1 100%ed, of course, and we are ready to grind Chapter 2. Every one of these chapters has your normal grind. There is a choice pack in here where you can get either the Soul Series or the Spring Breakout. This is the first time we're getting choice packs for free, so that's a nice add to this program. Chapter 2 AL East cards are the Pipeline Series cards. Heston Kerstad, 93 overall. We have the Rafaela card. Dominguez is in here. He's always a fan favorite. Uh, Xavier Isaac here, first baseman. And Martinez, who has 9104 power. The NL East pack is Eddie Matthews, Noble Mayer, Luis Angel Acuna, Mick Abel, and Joey Manessis. The American League pack is Stephen Kwan, Noah Schultz, Justin Verlander, Alex Gordon, and Emmanuel Rodriguez. NL Central is Michael Bush, Rob Dibble, Greg Vaughn, Josh Bell, and Joe Torrey. NL Central is J.R. Richard, Tim Salmon, Jacob Wilson, Daniel Vogelbach, and Mitch Garver. Last but not least, the NL West has Drew Jones. Chase Dolander, Kenley Jansen, Willie Myers, and Chili Davis. The cards are actually so good, and there's a lot of them I'm looking forward to. We're also about to hit 195,000 subs. We're on the grind for 200K. Subscribe if you're new. We also have a brand new event in MLB The Show 24 featuring the 94 overall Andrew Painter. You can get a 89 overall Barry Larkin in the program at 10 wins. There's also a rewind pack in here where you could get the Grayson Rodriguez or the Taylor Ward from the previous and we have the Andrew Painter 94 overall as the primary. This is at 20 wins, just like the Brian Abreu card that was previous season. Five pitch mix, 94 hits for nine. Pretty good control of his pitches, too, might I add. I'm really excited to use my boy Andy. Way the rewind pack at 18 wins features the Rendon and Brian Abreu card, so they give you both packs, allowing you to get all four of the cards from the previous. We also have a brand new Battle Royale program in MLB The Show that I have not dabbled into just yet. We have the 87 overall program packs, the 90 overall program packs, and then in the flawless pack, you have the 95 overall Ryan Braun and Fernando Valenzuela. Fernando Valenzuela of course, primary screwball, 100 hits per nine is pretty good. Really good control of his pitches. And Ryan Braun, 105, 125, 85, 105 power with 114 clutch. This card's crazy. Chipper Jones, Todd Helton, J.D. Martinez with the Tigers. That's a really good card. And Tommy Pham. And then this 90 overall pack, the second half, 2015 Bryce Harper, 90 overall. He's in the same pack as Ryan McMahon, which means I have to do a bunch of BR runs this season. I can't wait. These are the kind of cards that get me excited to do Battle Royale. We also have a brand new Ranked Seasons program featuring the 97 overall Jacob DeGrom in the World Series pack, along with the 97 overall Mike Cameron. This instantly might be the best center fielder in Diamond Dynasty. 92-101, 92-100, 93 clutch, Diamond defense, 91 speed. This card does everything, and if you didn't use Mike Cameron last year, it's time to get on it and give him a shot. He's pretty good. And then Jacob DeGrom, of course, 97, five pitch mix, 98 hits per nine, insane control. Controls between 93 and 97 on his primary four, 83 control of the curveball. I already can't hit Randy. The pitchers are starting to get nasty. <laughs> We have a brand new Conquest map featuring the Philly City Connect uniforms. Of course, we also got a new Conquest map for the new Team Affinity. This has a ton of strongholds on it. We didn't get a map for every division. We just got one giant map. I'm going to start and I'm going to tackle this this weekend. I won't bore you with this in a video, but once I have it done, we'll open all of the packs and I'll dive into it then. Expect that early next week. Then the Philly City Connects. I don't know how I feel about the City Connects. I'm not a huge fan of the font on those jerseys. I do love the hats and all the merch that came out though so i again will knock out this map just like any other and we will get these unlocked as well it is four strongholds and there are no moments requiring you to steal anything so i believe you just got to do the four strongholds. we have the team affinity chapter two team affinity extreme showdown with rob dibble it looks like rob dibble is going to be the final boss you got to go up against that team affinity robbie throws gas this team affinity showdown is what i'm about to knock out this is going to be our gameplay for today's video but first i want to go a little bit more in depth on some of the stuff that came out today and look at the content schedule because there's more stuff coming coming up on the schedule april 15th jackie robinson 
Day. We're going to get a Jackie Robinson Day program. And then on April 19th, that's next Friday, we have the Season Awards Lightning Player. So we're going to be getting a Lightning Player through the Season Awards next week. Then on April 26th, we have a brand new Mini Seasons. Mini Seasons is finally going to be getting updated and a Show Classic program along with the first roster update of the year. So April 26th, right before we flip the calendar to May, we're going to be getting a huge drop. All of the Team Affinity cards look awesome, and I'm excited to start getting those packs ripped, and i got to grind them out for pack squads as well. No Money Spent is down to just six teams. I need Mookie Betts to finish the Dodgers, Acuna and Strider to finish the Braves, all four diamonds of the Rangers to finish off them, Mike Trout to finish the Angels, Aaron Judge and Garrett Cole to finish the Yankees, and then Jordan, Kyle Tucker, and Josh Hader to finish the Astros. Now it's about time I went through and opened up all of my Battle Royale packs because I never finished going through these. I still have the majority. I think I opened two silvers and maybe a one or two of the gold packs. Other than that, I saved all of these Battle Royale packs. I love Battle Royale. Battle Royale has been a staple in Diamond Dynasty for a while. I think the 10 win change was really refreshing. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I, I like the 10. And I'm someone who was around back when you had to go 20 and 0 to get flawless. I think 10 is perfect. Anything shorter than this will be too short, but I do think it's short enough to where like the casual players probably having more fun. I did not have a lot of fun playing Battle Royale on MLB The Show 23. I am having a ton of fun playing Battle Royale on MLB The Show 24. I, I, maybe it's the 10 wins. Maybe it's the cards they've been putting in the programs. I don't know. I've been having a ton of fun with these. The JD Davis is one of my favorite cards in the game, not just Battle Royale. We've been using them on ranked. Love JD. I'm gonna grab this Lou Gehrig here as the final Battle Royale diamond card there. Now we have the flawless pack. We have the choice between Joe Maurer and Eric Gagne. Obviously, at some point, once I'm done collections, I'll start purchasing the other. When it comes to packs like this, I'm about to grab Joe Maurer. Usually, we'll just buy Eric Gagne and have both once we finish the pack, but we're saving for collections right now. Joe Maurer it is. He's gonna go into our inventory. I've been using Gary Sanchez as my diamond catcher at the moment. We have 30 standard packs, four ball and a couple headliners, a hitter and a captain's, a hitter and a pitcher captain's pack sitting here as well. I'm gonna go through, burn through these standards. Maybe we can get lucky and get a good pull. Maybe finish another collection. I don't know. Oh, 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 here we go. We, we were all, I think we have like two, maybe three packs left and we finally get a diamond. It is a purple diamond, but Right now, with how things are, hey, that's a diamond we don't have. I was just about to say, I'll take any diamond because stubs are stubs. But that's actually one of the Astros players that we do not have that is new to our collection. Saves us 5,000 stubs. I love that. Two more standard packs. Then we'll also open those ball and as a habits. Can we get lucky here? No. Four ball and as a habit packs now. Guaranteed gold or better. Max Scherzer. Used to him being a diamond. I'm used to him being a 100K diamond, to be honest. Joe Ryan, he's on the mound tonight at the time I'm recording this. Brandon Drury. One more. Show me some blue. Ooh, Bregman. Now we have two headliner packs here. Let's open up this one because it just gives us a free pack. We have a pack three and a pack four headliner. Nothing here. Pack four headliner. I don't even know who the feature is in this. So now it's time. Team Affinity Extreme Season 1, Chapter 2. There are no many, there are no missions only mini bosses you cannot fail at all you get stubs as your rewards and then ultimately team affinity progress let's try and knock it out let's start this draft round one josh bell the one card i'm most excited about out of all these affinities we'll also take ed matthews round number three give me herstad round number four i'm gonna take let's let's do stephen kwan he hits, he hits above his stats power-wise. We'll do Gary Sanchez. Chuck Nasty. We'll do Tony Gwynn. And oh, I was going to say, we probably should use a righty right now, but another, a lefty loaded round. Plus 12 on Nimmo. I'm going to do Jazz. We'll do Christian Walker. Slide him in at DH, and we will grab Hero Time. And I guess whatever on the second one. Bot is totally loaded up for this first mini boss. Let's see who it is. It's against Noble Mayor, my boy Noble. Enter the game trailing by three. Take the lead before recording 18 outs for a diamond boss batter and a gold perk. There are no runners on. 18 outs. Gotta score four. 
That ball's ripped. That a boy. Base hit Stephen Kwan to lead it off. Tony Gwynn slips it out to left. Back to back hits. Josh Bell. Good lord. Yo, that bat flip. That bat flip was outrageous from Josh Bell. That is nuclear. 114 off the bat, 440 down the line. I got to see the replay on that bat flip. Look at Josh. Ooh. Come on. Gary Sanchez. Goodbye. Got it done without recording and out. That is a tank. Back to back, no doubts. Four straight runs. We're done. That gives us two runs, a diamond hitter. I'm going to do Jason Dominguez, get us a switch hitter. And we'll do down but not out. Moment number two against J.R. Richard. Enter the game trailing by four with runners on the corners and take the lead before recording 13 outs. So really a bloop and a blast. I'll tie this one up. Let's go on a rally. Oh, well, that's not good. First pitch swinging with Charlie Blackman. I'm going to draw that throw home. Move the runner up to second. Get the double play out of there. We don't do that. Good. My, yo, Josh Bell. I knew it. I was so excited about this card. Look at him already. Can't wait to get him online. Eddie Matthews now going to slice the gap, and we are one swing away from being done. Base hit Stephen Kwan. That puts runners on the corners. A gap will now win it. Tony Gwynn base hit. That moves the winning run up in the second in scoring position. Ground ball. Oh, I was going to say that almost was a double play. It's not even going to be an out. Wow, we got lucky in error on what should have been a routine double play. Game winning run would have moved up to third regardless, though. Here's Charlie Blackman. And we're done. Charlie Blackman deep out the center. That'll work as a sacrifice fly. Moving on. It's our draft pick. We could use some righty in our lineup. I'm going to take Drew Jones. Next up against Chase Dolander, and this jumps up to Hall of Fame difficulty here. Enter the game trailing by one and take the lead before recording 13 outs. 13 outs, two runs. Let's get it done. It's in cores as well, which should be helpful. Chase Dolander's nasty, though. Oh, first pitch swing with Charlie Blackman doing damage. We tie it up on one swing. Let's go. All over a fastball. Look at Chuck Nasty in the leadoff spot. And now Tony Gwynn back-to-back -back pitches, back-to-back -back knocks. It's a heater situation. Can we go first to third with Tony Gwynn? I'm going to try. And if he gets him at third, we'll be at second with Josh Bell. We're going to be safe everywhere. I don't know. Uh, yeah, actually, that will be deep enough. Herstad's going to get it done. Deep out to right. We'll tag up and go, and that is it. Advanced, completed, done. Success, so we're three for three here on our first attempt of the Extreme Showdown. That is done. We are going to grab... We really could use some more righty. I don't love Jacob Wilson's swing in the game, though. Give me Wilson. We could use him. And we'll grab rally time. Finally, we get rally time to pop up. That'll go in. We're going to throw Wilson on our bench. We're just going to have right-handed platoons down here. Next up on Hall of Fame, take on Dodgers' Kenley Jansen. Enter the game tied and take the lead before recording 10 outs. 10 outs, one run. Here we go. Backdoor slider to start things off. 0-1. Going to be extremely patient with these first few batters. Might not even swing till I have two strikes. There's an automatic boost there, but I want to get Jan Jansen's pitch count up just in case we have any line outs and things get weird. It would be nice to get his energy down at least. But he comes right at us, firing. It's 0-2, and we instantly have to protect. And he went slow. Backdoor slider, sinker up, slider up and in on the corner. What a sequence. Get down, Tony Gwynn. Get down, Tony Gwynn. Come on. Here's Eddie Matthews. Nine pitches in his first two at-bats. We got seven outs to work with here. Kenley pitches super slow. There's like no pace or rhythm to this at all. Cutter right down the middle. 104 exit velo for Eddie Matthews. Deep to the wall and caught on the warning track. He just missed it. There it is. Quan with the gap. That'll be at least a double high bounce for me. Let me get three. Now nah, he picked it up clean. There's a double. He's got to get that runner around now. 
We're going to bunt the runner up to third, and now we have four outs to move that runner in from third base. Atta boy, Jason Dominguez. Here's Gary Sanchez. All right, so Gary's got good contact righty-righty, but he's only got 54 clutch, so his PCI is tiny. Jazz has 80 clutch. He hit Jazz. Josh Bell, he's a perfect, perfect machine. 115 into the night. Destroyed. That gives us four runs, gets us up to a total of 11. Another diamond hitter where we are looking for another righty, really. The problem is Mitch Garver hits righties better than lefties, so that doesn't necessarily help us. Martinez is kind of gross. We're going to do Martinez. And we'll take hero time diamond. That's big. We'll slap that on. Next up against Noah Schultz. Enter the game trailing by five with the bases loaded and take the lead before recording 17 outs. A double play here could be detrimental. Let's make sure we don't do that. Not the pop-up. It's better than a ground ball in this situation. I want a gap right now. A two-run double would... Charlie, hard ground ball. He knocked it down. No way. Wow. Here's Tony Gwynn. He's one of the guys we're going to take out for a righty here. We'll do the Martinez card. That ball smoked. Please get over his head. Yes, 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 yes. We needed that. We needed that. It'll be an RBI double, and we got another one in scoring position. Now Homer ties it. Oh, Eddie Matthews hit that pretty good. Going to advance the runner on the sack fly. He will not move. We won't move up to third, but it's our third run. Stephen Kwan lifts one out to right center. That'll move the runner up to third there on the fly ball. Doesn't help us in the grand scheme of things, though. We still need two more plus that runner at third. I need another base runner, Dominguez. Dominguez deep out to right center. I need that to be a gap. That's a gap. It's going to be off the wall for Jason Dominguez. Huge. So we'll have runners in scoring position as well. A homer and we're done. Ground ball. Oh, no. The run our runner at second got caught. Wow, he could have thrown that to third. Okay. Tying run moves up to third. We have 11 outs. We need a homer. Spanked. Drew Jones right back up the middle. Ties it up. Bring him around. Josh Bell does it again. An opposite field, no doubter. We win it 7-5 with 11 outs to spare. Success. That adds five runs to our total there at the end. We're up to 16 now. Our diamond for this round. Again, looking for more righty help. I'm going to take Joey Manessis. We have two more mini bosses left before the final. The next one is worth seven runs. Take on Tigers pitcher Justin Verlander. Enter the game trailing by three runs with a runner on third. And take the lead before recording 18 outs. First pitch swinging for Stephen Kwan. And it's an RBI ground out. Slider right down the middle. Josh Bell, first pitch swing and hanging curveball right back up the middle on the ground for an out. Charlie Blackman, it's a one-run game. No doubt. I love this lefty sack we have here at the top with Josh Bell. Eddie Matthews, did he tie it up? He got good exit velo, that ball's gone. Eddie Matthews gets one to go. It's three to three now. We need just one more. The lefty stack. Here's Herstad. Herstad! The changeup missed right down the middle. We go back to back to back. Get him out of here. Success. That gets us six more runs. Puts us at 22. Joe Torrey, Greg Vaughn, Xavier Isaac, and Willie Myers pop up next. I'm going to do, what's Joe Torrey's clutch? 125, give me Torrey. Next up, take on Philly's pitching prospect, Mick Abel. Enter the game tied and take the lead before recording nine outs. We need one run off of Mick Abel. Oh, Stephen Kwan, I dropped it. I'm sorry. Just ripped the fastball into the net, and then he climbed the ladder on us. There's two outs. Charlie Blackman smoked. That's going to be in the gap. Can we get to second on that with Rojas? I'm not going to risk it. 
He's got great defense. Ah, I should have went. Eddie Matthews the other way. No doubt about it. A two-run shot. That's huge. We have set ourselves up to finish this whole thing on one shot. Way to be. Success. Bang. That's going to give us seven more runs. We only need two runs to win this final showdown. We're going to get another diamond bat right here. I'm going to grab Michael. But let's do Dan Vogelbach. We could use one more lefty on this bench. We'll get rid of Manasis, put Vogelbach down there. The final boss is Rob Dibble, right? So maybe we just put Vogie in the lineup. Vogelbach, Stephen Kwan, Josh Bell, Charlie Blackman, Eddie Matthews, Heston Kerstad, Tony Gwynn, Jason Dominguez, and Gary Sanchez. Going up against Rob Dibble on Legend. We have 20 outs. We need two runs. Eddie Matthews. Eddie Matthews ties it up. We need one more. He missed right down the middle with that heater. I'm so locked in over well, here. It's insane. No problem. If you had a gun, shoot him in the head. Tony Gwynn? We got a perfect, perfect, no doubt, Tony Gwynn homer to send it off. Are you kidding me? There's no way that is how we just won that extreme showdown. Tony Gwynn, no doubter. Come on. <laughs> That's actually the most incredible thing ever, dude. Come on, Tony Gwynn just pimp job off Rob Dibble in Great America Ballpark. You got a little Sammy hop in there too. Unreal. Fun extreme showdown. One for one. Got it done. Showdown success. Eight for eight. One for one. Let the record show. We are done. That gets our team affinity to 10% at each division. You can also just go into the regular team affinity season one, chapter two, and you can grind this out for the vouchers. This is repeatable, obviously. The extreme showdown is not repeatable. Just got a bunch of unlockables. I'll, un I'll open these off camera. There's just... Just logos and stuff in here. This is the best logo of all time. My XP reward path is also now creeping up towards the 93 overall. Mike Napoli is going to be my catcher soon. I can't wait. Also, for our main squad, we've made some upgrades today. We're currently at 12 out of 11 on Buxton, so we can get one, rid of one card on our main squad, which can be Lou Bob. We're going to throw Joe Maurer in there, and he's now going to be our little, like, not platoon with Gary Sanchez, but just our backup catcher. I always love Joe Maurer's swing. I do hear that this card in particular swings a noodle, but I got to at least give him a shot. He won't play that much, but because Gary's got reverse splits. He crushes righties, so I won't be taking him out against righties, but it's Maurer. He's on the squad. Rest of the team, we are looking forward to adding some of these Chapter 2 cards to our squad, but this is what the team looked like at the end of Chapter 1. Now I got to get to work on events, Battle Royale, Team Affinity. So much stuff came out. I'm pumped up. There's going to be a bunch of videos over the next few days, so subscribe if you are new. Use code Shelfie at SeatGeek for 20 bucks off your first purchase. It's that code right there. Go to a game. Enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.